Hello guys, I'm here with some end of free gameplay on the map Arkadin. I'm using the MP7 Sunset. Send mag my perk loadout is Slayer Fan, Hardline, and Sip Rep. My specialist loadout is Stalker, Assassin, and Quick Draw. And this is a nice little 57 gun streak on the map of Arkadin, obviously. And this is also a three way bra between me, Extreme x 97 and Snipes, one of the people I sometimes play with on MW3. And uh, Extreme x is is uh, one of my friends, Charlie, obviously. You guys might know him, and uh, he's my main support runner. And uh, he used to also record my videos and uh, edit them and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, in this gameplay, I played the video from uh, as soon as I got on my specialist. As if I didn't play from there, it would have been a pretty long video. And uh, yeah, because this streak basically lasts a whole video. And uh, yeah, in this commentary topic, I'm just gonna be talking about COD Ghost mainly, mainly the multiplayer and uh, what I've seen so far from it, like um, the perk system and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. The perk system is looks pretty good to me, in my opinion. As a perk, each perk costs one, two, three, four, or five points, and uh, you the think the maximum is either eight or seven. I'm not too sure, but um, say if it is eight, for example, I'm just guessing it's eight. Um, you can like pick eight one-point perks, or maybe like one five-point perk, and then f uh, one point uh, a one three-point perk. You know. And that's basically two perks, and uh, I really like how that works out. As in, because in Black Ops 2, that didn't really work out with the point system. Because in Black Ops 2, the point system you had to give up points for your gun and uh, attachments, your lethals, tact uh, lethals, uh, tacticals, and secondaries. And that's kind of annoying. And also, if you want extra perks, you gotta give up an extra point for that, and then another point for the perk that you want to put on, which is basically just a lot of points wasted, and it just kind of messes up the perk system and uh, the point system a bit in my opinion so it kind of restricts you to what you can use and stuff like that so uh, yeah hopefully um, Cold Ghost perk system will work pretty well I think it will by the sounds of it and uh, yeah the return of specialist support and assault is definitely back some people that went to Gamescom and uh, went out to uh, LA to play Cold Ghost definitely said the uh, specialist is back and so is assault and support so uh, yeah, I can't wait to use that, and I'm don't, not too sure how the support will work, uh, not support, especially this will work as there's like over, I think there's like over 30 perks or 35 perks, I'm not too sure, there's a lot of perks, there's like a lot of new perks, and uh, I'm not too sure how that works, I think maybe um, they'll let you pick the perks that you want to use or unlock, like a certain amount, like you get a limit of perks that you can unlock, because I imagine if you could unlock every single perk, like all 35 perks or whatever, how many it is, I reckon that'll be pretty OP and you'll be basically unstoppable. So I reckon they'll give you like a certain limit to how many perks you can unlock. So uh, yeah. Also, the return of the mob is definitely back. Some people said it weren't back, but um, I definitely saw the it after the behind the scenes bit as um, the mob went off, obviously. And uh, then I watched some videos on YouTube to check. And then uh, one of these people zoomed in on the top right where the kill feed is now, guys. And uh, there were definitely the little mob symbol there. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> and also the kill feed is now in the top right corner. I reckon it'll be a little bit um, work. It's a little bit annoying to get used to, but you know uh, you'll eventually get used to, it and hopefully it'll be pretty good. By the looks of things like watching videos and stuff, the like hub and stuff looks pretty good. Like the how the not lobby leaderboard, um, how the school scoreboard. That's the one. How the scoreboard looks and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. Also, <clears throat> the, there's another thing called a King Strike, and it's a, like a little mini mob that you can get, or mini nuke, whatever you guys want to call it. And you can only get that from going for a little task that you get set in the game. Like, there's a little briefcase that you can run over to and grab. And if you do that, you get um, a little care package to call in, and it's the King Strike, and it kills a whole enemy team. So basically, you could be like one off a mob, and then it will get called in and basically kill you one off, basically. Obviously. And uh, yeah. It seems like a little bit of bullshit, but you can only earn that once in the game, and only you can basically only get that once in the game. Once one person has it, that's it, basically. No one else can get it. And I think it's only on one game mode, or and only on one map. So I think that'll be pretty good. I'll be avoiding that map for sure if it only is on that one map. So uh, yeah. Also, there is no theater, so uh, I'm not too sure how to feel on that one because I kind of like what recording my. Um, Gameplay is from theatre as um, I don't really like recording like 24/7. Have my Elgato plugged into my Xbox to my PC to keeping it on 24/7 just in case I drop a good gameplay and stuff, you know. So I kind of think it's um, a waste of time and in case I didn't, and it would just waste a load of energy on my not energy um, space on my computer. 
So uh, yeah, I tend to record stuff from my um, theatre, but you know, you never know. The CODs that didn't have theatre had really good hit detection and stuff. So maybe COD guys will have really good hit detection and maybe that will make up for it. But I guess I'll be recording on like 24-7 when I play that game just in case I drop any insane gameplays or mobs, you know. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, basically I forgot what else. Also, there is a new perk where you can reload while you're running, which looks pretty good, like you can in Battlefield 3. Uh, basically, I reckon I'll benefit the rushes a lot, as it looks pretty good, to be honest. And uh, I like reloading while running in Battlefield 3, so it'd be pretty good for the rushes and stuff like that. Also, there is Blast Shield, not Blast Shield, um, Danger Close. I'm not too sure how that will work out, or hopefully it won't be too much like how it is in... Um, MW2, in my opinion, that what ruined MW2, like all the new tubes and stuff. So hopefully, um, it won't be that OP, or maybe you will have to use flat jacket all the time to like counteract it or something like that. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, hopefully it won't be that ridiculous. And um, uh, yeah, there's some other stuff that I want to talk about. I can't remember what. Oh yeah, there's also dedicated servers, guys, only for the Xbox One apparently, but um. Definitely when I get my Xbox One, I can't wait to play on these uh, dedicated servers. Apparently some people that went to Gamescon or got sent out to LA said there's um, dedicated servers only for um, Xbox One. Maybe PS1, I'm not too sure, but um, they did say there was a um, dedicated service for the, um, the Xbox One. And there, thank god the bloody striker kid didn't take me out with his striker. I tried killing him up, but um, I tried to beat me to it, obviously. And also guys, the uh, marksman class, I'm not too sure how to fit on that one, I think it might be like a, a little bit newbie because it's like semi-automatic burst fire guns and stuff like that, I think it might just be like MK14s or Time 95 or like fouls for days in that one category, you know, the class that everybody will be running around just to piss everybody else off, you know, and it might just be OP as fuck, but hopefully it won't be like that, uh, yeah. I'm going to end off the video here guys, let me know on what you think of some of the stuff in COD Ghost and uh, let me know if I've missed any major things out and uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and a comment on whatever and I'll speak to you guys whenever, adios. So yeah guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that video, in the bottom right corner of your screen there is a little subscribe button for you guys to click on if you haven't already and if you do enjoy my core content or anything else. In the top left corner there is a little annotation showing you my last video, click on that if you haven't seen that already and other than that I'll speak to you whenever, adios. Wank.